Hey, what's going on guys? Abdur Sound here from AndroidExtremist.com. In this video, I'm going to review my UI ROM for your Nexus 4. So let's go ahead and get to the review. If you want to know how to flash this ROM and if you want to get all the files, which is in the description, so go ahead and check out the link in the description, which will take you to my how-to video. So let's go ahead and get to full review of this ROM. Now this is stock. I haven't touched anything. I mostly customized it the way I like it, but everything else is left out so if you can see first of all we're going to go to setting those were the toggles you just saw and go all the way down scroll down all the way whoops go to about phone and as you can see 4.2.2 jdq39 that's the build this miui is running you can find out more about your phone under the about phone now this is their setting but when you go in setting, you will see the common setting or quick setting right here, which will include your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all the setting that you use normally based. Under complete setting, you'll find your Android complete setting. Now here in under mobile networks, you can change your APN. Whoops. Under mobile setting, you can change your APN and uh, radios and all other stuff. When you flash radio in custom recovery, you can check it out in mobile networks under WN. Here you can go to advanced setting and find out about your MAC address and other stuff about your Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And in the status bar, you can customize your status bar, which is right here. Add more toggles and remove the one that you don't need. There was a taskbar menu. And Choose different setting and stuff depending on what you like from right there. I'm just going to briefly run through some settings and then show you what MIUI is really about. Then scrolling down is you will find their own cloud service which will back up your SMS, call logs and, and everything. I think they were the first one that had this service defaultly in there. I remember from my Galaxy S2 days that they had this service. And it's really awesome, guys, when you're restoring or when you're flashing newer ROM from MIUI, you can always restore those stuff. Now, under battery, you can select the battery percentage and it will display right there. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you could see it better. Right there, it says 88%. And right here is the usage you get from the battery life. Now, I've been running this ROM for three hours. And uh, at 88%, use my screen for like 30 minutes or so. And under the buttons and keys, you can select different accents for long press and stuff. And customize your screen option. So when you got your, got, when you flash this, your menu button, you, you'd be all the way on the left side. Now I put it all the way right because that's where I like my menu button. And that's where I will have my thumb around. You can... Customize those four buttons from right there. Just lift it up and move it that way. And root or reboot enable, you can do that. Root. But yeah, you can do reboot enable, enable for multi touch option from there. Then we can go to LD. You don't need light flow or LD blink or other application to use your LED with your application. You can go ahead and do that from this tab called LD where you're going to also find different colors and stuff for your LED and we're going to go ahead and hit back button this is just some stuff I'm pointing out guys this is not uh, full to reviews or anything now we're going to get into reviews now here once you get into this system we want to go to permission Go to security and permission, go to root permission and make sure you enable this. Press OK, reboot your phone. This is when you're going to get or this is how you're going to get the root permission for your Titanium backup, ROM manager, Goo manager or other application that requires root manager because they do have their own permission manager and they would like to run it their own way because they are really, really careful about security and security breach. Did you know that your Facebook, every time you log in, it 
kind of looks into your contact books from your phone well once you download this app rom you will know that they are asking for your contacts information and you can deny that because of the security process now here in system and security you will also find other application like antivirus backup password auto start my credit is where you're going to use those credits to download themes and other app stuff that my ui offers you from their own store because this is most themed rom you'll find thousands and thousands of themes that you won't find anywhere near comparable to Sanojma 10 or OKP because this is not even close to them. This is something upperly. I'm trying to say is this is best out of best. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know if I'm pointing the message out correctly, but that's my message at, at the end. The reason behind is not that it offers thousands and thousands of themes, but you can customize those themes the way you want. Like this is transformer theme right here. I really like the lock screen. And I also like their uh, status bar. So I can touch right there and deselect everything. I mean, select it, status bar, deselect every other thing. And hit apply. And it will only apply status bar. As you can see, the status bar has reset. And there you go. Notification toggles. Going back from this theme, I only like their icon because their icons really look cool. So I'm going to deselect everything again, save for icon, hit apply. Now they will change their icons to this thing accordingly. Going back, I like this lock screen really awesome because as you can see it, it displays everything perfectly. And makes you feel like you're in some futuristic ROM. So I just applied that, and now everything is customized the way I like from different themes. Now, when you press home button, it will reload the launcher. Now, check all the icons is changed. And there you go, that's the lock screen. There's a clock right here and other information. So you can customize this and change. And as you can see it collapses to open up now under tools you will see clock recorder torch compass and transfer transfer is like an air android it transfer your files now under clock you'll find really awesome themable clock and that stopwatch and that's time are really themed out and this does not have app drawer this is like your apple launcher or ios launcher we can go back and uh, let's go to recorder and this is their own really awesome cassette recorder themed so you can record stuff from there now torch is usual and then tra transfer i want to send files when you press that they will teach you how to do it and uh, you can do it by tethering or wi-fi tether <laughs> so it's you can do it both wi-fi and tethering so Make sure you know that then under music confirmed i don't have anything but they do have their own music player and you can get songs from online if you got google play my cloud is what i was telling you about you can back up all the stuff if you want from their own service now we're going to go to next page where you're gonna find their feedback anti-spam file explorer notes calendar weather and all this application that this particular rom for this phone includes now you might not have some of this application that's not miu application from other roms to your other phone devices but this do carry it and as you can see the theme is really awesome to every single application is themed and uh, it's giving me error because I did have to reset my password for this. Uh, make sure when you sign up for your theme or for your account to download themes, uh, it comes the, the confirmation email comes in 
Chinese or Korean or whatever this language is. All you do is just press the blue link and it will confirm your account so you will be able to run their themes. Now here is the reboot manager where you can get extended power menu like options from there. And those four buttons, that's the setting. You can mess around with launcher. And right here is the awesome <laughs> task manager. I'm losing my words. Press and it will go away. I mean, your application might be swiped. Now, let's say you like your voice search, your Google search really awesome and you love it. What you can do is drag down so it will be locked. So when you press that, they they won't erase your Google search or whatever application you selected from your memory. So that's a really awesome feature. Comes with preloaded with maps and stuff, flash player, add away, which really blocks your application. And they come with two cameras. Look at that camera. Really, really awesome camera. Zoom in, zoom out. Look picture. Right here is your gallery. Choose any of you want and check out the picture. Really awesome looking picture. Now, the application does little work compared to the camera because camera is where everything is at. And this is your typical Android camera, touch to focus, and it will take picture. But I like my UI camera because that is where it's at. Then media scan, it's another application which can scans your media in case if your music player fails to scan. Now DSP manager comes from your Sanajama 10.1 and there are other applications that defaultly come with it. Now phone, this is where another theme applies. You can go ahead and drag this down, and go to all the recent call activities, bring the keypad up. And when you get your phone, I mean flash this ROM open up, it will say you can press 7 and 5 to find Steve Jobs. It's really awesome joke from I think the developer or MIUI, one of them. Again, hit that and you will have the Google application back in the memory saved up. Now, here is the search bar. You can search anything from your phone to Google. As you can see, when I search clock, it will give me the link to my clock application. And you can search the web from the same search bar. Now, this ROM is really, really light compared to other ROMs and it will save you a lot of battery usage so you get the most out of your phone plus your ROM really runs smooth no hiccups at all unless you're flashing nightlies and stuff then that's experimental because those are nightly and this was just quick review of my your ROM it does come with a lot of transaction stuff transaction I don't know if I'm saying the effect when you open up some thing and the effect you get that you can select from setting and as you can see if you touch the volume panel i mean volume it will take you to volume panel directly and this is the perfect sound 